All right, guys. The siege has commenced. Let's do this. Uh, the entire might of the north has come to knock on Stannis Baratheon's door. This is one weird ass stairway. Okay. <laughs> you two block this. Shield me from the arrows. Good lord. How am I not getting shot? How am I not getting shot right now? Actually, I think one of them has shot my shield. Yeah, it has. <laughs> I think the gates are just open. Yeah, so the archers to hang back. Moon's just got himself locked unconscious. This is really. Where's like the entire garrison of Dragon's Zone? Exactly. You could shoot me, didn't you, you little bitch? Rob leading the charge. No, oh, they're getting sandwiched with the wounded ball. Let's position the archers, shall we? It's 
since they're probably all still outside the gates. I really wish we'd go up these fucking things faster. Moving orders. Hold this position. Umber and Mandalay fighting now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mandalay. Reinforcements has arrived, finally. I think we've won. That's the last of them, I believe. They would have spawned by now. Yeah. Sweet victory. A decisive victory. Loras Tyrell was making such a big fucking fuss about when he stormed the place. I lost three wounded. <laughs> you reached the town walls, but the stub and the fed. Alright, there are more of them. Alright. This is weird because we've already cleared the docks. I don't know what the hell the air is on about. There are idiots in the water.
Okay. The question remains, how do we? How the fuck did we get those guys? I can't even get down there. Well, that took a bit, but we did it. The town center is yours, but the remaining defenders have retreated to the castle. It shall fall before you. Yes, before you can claim victory. Nice work, lads. And that is the end of that. Uh, let's go talk to Rob. There you go. Stannis is destroyed. Soon his faction will be no more and peace will uh, return to the north. And I'm hoping peace remains for quite a while. If I can, I'm going to get it so that Rob Stark gets Dragonstone for himself. Blackwood got to Rook's Rest, but I... They're all returning home, and a bunch of them are going to Umber's Feast, by the looks of things. I kind of wanted Rob to have Harren Hall, to be honest, but what are you going to do? Alright, uh, I'm going to skip ahead. Basically, until it pops up that says Stannis is dead. Which you should do in a moment. Any moment, hopefully. Hello, guys. It should be like halfway for a video by the looks of all my footage that I've got left. But I've uh, I've not played Mountain Blade in quite a while. I've had to sort of refresh my memory on what the hell we've done. Basically, we've we've done everything. The Lannisters are dead. King's Landing is ours. The Crown Lands are basically ours. Other than Duskendale and Salt Pans. Dragonstone fell most recently, I believe. That's now in the hands of uh, Rob, which is good. We've got Peace with the South. Control some of the uh, the northern Westlands, all of the Iron Isles. I have consolidated my power around Fair Market, Raven Tree, Sea Guard, Crossings, and everything. I've got decent garrisons in all of them. Uh, I got like 42k and a bunch of food that I recently bought. My character's pretty badass. My army's pretty good as well. But, uh, yeah, it, I, I was kind of been, like, sitting here thinking what the hell exactly there is to do that's left. Uh, we could go attack the south. I could get Rob to declare war on the south and have a really long, boring battle with them. I, I feel that that'd be very boring and potentially deadly <laughs> because the south is huge. Um... Alternatively, we could attack the Vale, which is weaker, but then the the South might take that as an opportunity to attack us because we're at war with somebody else. I know how the AI works in this game. Also, the Vale is going to be incredibly wealthy, I reckon, since they haven't actually been at war with anybody or done anything for the entire game. Huh, another alternative is taking the Sisters, or Free Sisters, whatever you want to call them, and uh, taking them for ourselves, which we could easily do. It would be a slaughter. 
basically. But uh, again, that leaves us at war with another faction, and the South may take that as a uh, an chance to like get provoked, whatever. But uh, eventually, I figured, fuck it, we'd uh, we'd follow this quest line, which eventually leads to a wilding invasion. We'd play that and uh, see where that takes us. We've got the men. I mean, I can lead like almost 300 troops if I need to. But uh, the first thing on that list is going to this holdfast and uh, finding these wildling White Walker dudes, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. At least we'll be able to get a few parts out of this. See what happens. I have saved. And my relations with thing is apparently improved. All right. Enter the ruins. I'm not sure why my relations with them have suddenly improved. But there you go. How bloody ominous. <laughs> Past the game. Now there he is. I think. Music is very scary and all, but I cannot for the life of me figure out where we're supposed to be. Ah! I see you, old man. What do you want? What do you want? I saw an elk carrying a dead man in my dream. Okay. I saw a fist in the snow with a dead man recalling all over it. I saw a dark shape in the north. It speaks to me. Whispers. So wild men too. Are they my brothers now? Beneath the cold ground will lie. But not yet! When the dawn has ended, I'll have my bride, my cold bride. In the snow and in the dirt. <laughs> right. <laughs> no! You can't have them. He gave them to me. They're mine to play with. To love, to hate, to kill. And then they'll kill me. Big happy family we are. Come, come. I'll show you. I want to be all out there. <laughs> so I want to be all out crazy there for a second. All right, leave. There's only 86 of you? Okay, this is going to be a bit easier than I said, he says, while going immediately to the save button in case everything goes horribly wrong. All right, whites, you will be mine. When you're dead, you'll join us. I can't die, see? We're already dead. 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 Alright, let's do this. Assuming I can remember what, exactly what the buttons are to tell my troops to do shit. It has been a while. This position, lads. Infantry, forward. Take him, lads. Guys, take a beat. Fuck me, shield.
on, lads! Victory, lads! Victory is ours! My legs do, my boots do not match the rest of my outfit. <laughs> Alright, how about it? Shit, I lost like, damn. They really beat the shit out of, uh. Nothing special from the White Walkers. Right, well. <laughs> Great, uh, I lost to quite a few men, but there you go. Victory is ours, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, where are we going? Let's... I have to return to White Harbor. This might take a while. Alright, we'll go to White Harbor. We'll skip ahead to when we arrive. I assume there's not going to be attacking us on the on our way back. In theory. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> that happened. They, uh, they hit a lot harder than I thought they would. But there you go. Well, Mandalay's called a feast at, uh, at White Harbor. Which just happens to be where we're going. He's in the tavern, is he not? Or is he in the castle? Nah, he's in the castle. Without the wildlings, they were cold as ice, yet they still walked. Their eyes were blue without life. And I spent many years in the cellars of the Black Castle. You have one, right? Why are they not supposed to be able to get past beneath the wall? It's not just ice and stone. Yes, yes, yes. They were. I slew the man who did it. God, we good. Return to Thingamajig. Quickly, return to Thingamajig. <laughs> Where is Thingamajig exactly? He's he's just, he's in the bar, right? I was literally just in the bar. This is dire news! I thought that the White's remnants were destroyed from the Seven Pointed Star. Really? The faith of the Seven? As I imagine they would. We must arm in the villages and warn the lords. Someone must send a raven to the wall. I think Majid can do that. And make sure the fires are burnt bright. Speaking of fire, I have something that might come in handy should you run into those creatures. Before I came to the Septums, I nicked some of them from King's Landing. Yeah. Yeah, that's that done. Hey, Madly. What you doing? Then do we just have to, like, wait a bit for the wildlings to attack? I'm not sure. Last time I played this, that was the end of that quest, and... I think they take last earth, or something, according to YouTube comments. <laughs> YouTube comments, incredibly a reliable source of information. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll we'll assume that I have to wait a bit for huh. 
Hey, Seaworth. Uh, buddy, um, I'm pretty sure I killed a bunch of your kids earlier, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I killed a bunch of Seaworth's kids during a battle at some point. But yeah, uh, we'll, uh, we'll assume that I have to wait and we'll skip ahead to when something interesting happens, as usual. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end of the series. I don't want to drag it out any longer than is entirely necessary, but, you know, having a big battle against the Wildling Invasion is a decent way to end things. Like I said, uh, I don't want to conquer all of Westeros. I have no intention of doing that. But, um... Uh, I'm going to do a series, eventually, playing as a Blackfire and bringing the Targaryens back, in which case we'll try and take all of Westeros in that series. But for this one, all I wanted to do was kill the Lannisters and secure Robb's kingdom, and we've done that. So, you know, from this point, we just have to, you know, find something interesting to do and a good way to end the series, which is going to be killing wildlings, I suppose. And, uh, you know, RP-wise, I imagine the North and the Southern Kingdom will probably skirmish throughout the history of their reign and whatnot. And Renly will want King's Landing, right? But, uh, yeah. Meh. I am, I have no interest in buggering about in the South and fighting that war. That war could last forever. With back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll skip forward. See what happens. Here's a look at our weekly budgets. I get... Net revenue from firm. I remember I've set my rents from all my shit to very low in order to make the populace like me more, which I'm pretty sure is what hap is uh, earlier. I've, I had like a bunch of like this town likes you more, and I'm pretty sure it's the reason being that my taxes are very low. So yeah, I get taxes from firm market. Yeah, six hundred fifty, six sixty, two sixty. Net revenue from the oil press at Lord Harry's town one thousand three hundred, which is pretty sweet. It doesn't appear... No, nah, that's the ironworks from Fair Market. And yeah, they're all pressed from that, which is good. Rents from Seaguard. 1,300. Oh, Twin, Twins, Pike. Seven streams, very low. Yeah. I lose a lot to uh, tax inefficiency. That's because I have over the top amount of castles or something. Uh, a town counts for two. Uh, castles and villages count for one each. And I think it's like... Uh, a lord can only have five before he starts to get tax inefficiency or some bollocks. Either way. I'm losing two grand from my party. And all my garrisons and everything. Overall, currently making about 7,500. I'm basically tilting in the green. And obviously there's big like fluctuations between all the produ produce that I'm making with everything else. But yeah. That's that. Alice Karstark has renounced his allegiance to what? <laughs> what is it with the what is it with this game and ah you fucking cunt? Uh, I hate this game sometimes. The Karstarks if ugh 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 oh look with us uh, I'm I'm just gonna make it be sick. Don't make me laugh, game. The fuck is wrong with you? I'm I'm not uh, just just ignore that. Yeah, that fucking settles it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not dealing with that bollocks. <laughs> That's just so unrealistic and shit that it's just, yeah, fuck that. That's uh, yeah, we're we're definitely ending the series uh, <laughs> because I, I I literally just can't be bothered even dealing with that shit. It's ridiculous that that's just happened. Uh... I don't even bother, think we'll bother with the wildlings, to be honest, guys. I might just end the series on a sale, a stale note, so to speak. It sucks, but I don't know. I, I've enjoyed it. We've succeeded in going out for our goal, which was that. And I'm, I'm kind of, like, stuck being a loyal bannerman. It's how soul. We're loyal to the Starks. There's, no, there's not going to be any uprising or anything. At least not for me. The car Starks may be disloyal little bitches, but sure. <laughs> Yeah, that, that just fucking happened. <laughs> I mean, hell, it happened with Dusk and Dale, Salt Pans, Lord Haraway's Town did it at one point as well. 
It's ridiculous. We could easily go take him and declare war on the south and fight him. But to be honest, like I said, I, I don't particularly care. The, Rob's at peace with Renly. He doesn't particularly, you know, hate him or anything. And that war is just open-ended and meh. And that's just not the goal of this series. It is not to conquer all of Westeros. I don't want to do that. And the thing is, once you declare war with somebody, you can't fucking not... You can't get a peace with them unless they're dead in this mod. Unless I'm king. If I was king, I could negotiate pieces. But because the AI is stupid, and this is how this mod works, wars are just endless. They don't stop in Westeros. The kings will just keep fighting each other to the death. So yeah, guys. Uh, on that note, and with the White Walkers somewhat defeated and the Wildlings, we assume, not coming. Uh, I'm just going to end it. And we'll find some other series to replace this tomorrow. You might find that there's not a video tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, next week we'll probably go back to Total War. Do something with Total War. Or maybe a different mod for CK2, maybe? I don't know. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, I thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series. I enjoyed playing it up to the point where this sort of stupid shit started happening. <laughs> and uh, we had some good battles, some good times, were they? Yes. There was that bit where I went crazy and started talking like that old nut job guy with the white walkers. Yes, I remember those fond times, fond times. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm calling it. This is the end of this series. Like I said, we could drag it out. Kind of like I'm doing this speech right now. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not going to do that. We'll just call it, uh, call, call it a day. The North is victorious. We have secured our kingdom. It's a giant ass motherfucking kingdom. My nephew's in the Vale, so I don't really want to attack him. And uh, the Sistertons are part of the Vale. I don't even know why the hell they're independent. Stupid as hell part of the mod. But yeah, that's it. I thank you for watching. That is all for now. Uh, I'm going to go see what else we can record for next week. Thank you for watching. Again, Sol out.